Hi guys! So today I'm going to get my dreamy nails done in Siem Reap in Cambodia. These are the chrome barbicol nails that ever since I saw online I was just immediately in love with them, so drawn to them. I found at a nail salon rated 5 out of 5 stars. It has some beautiful work on Instagram. It's quite affordable, like compared to Europe or compared to Korea, compared to Japan. Here in Cambodia in Siem Reap, I think the prices are very reasonable. You know, you would not be able to get nails like these in the US or Europe or in Korea or Japan for this price. So this might be your best place to get some beautiful nail designs for way cheaper. Um, so yeah, we're going there right now. I know Bar because it's a 2023 trend, but I'm not over it. I just want to treat myself first of all. And second of all, um, the last time I had my nails done properly with extensions at the salon was, well, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had like my nails done properly at the salon with extensions. I used to do my own nails, but then it would take forever and I would hate the process. So I decided and to stop doing it but hey let's go together it's such a challenge just to cross the road okay we're just going to go in the middle and then run <laughs> that's what i do i just run i don't know if getting nails with extensions is very practical that's why i don't want to get them too long i just miss having nice nails with a little bit of extension so we'll see how it turns out i recognize this logo yeah we must be here so this is it I believe, yeah. Let's go in. But before I show you the whole process of getting my nails done in Cambodia and give you my final thoughts of whether this was a good or a bad experience, I first quickly want to mention the jewelry that I have been wearing all throughout my travels in every single one of my videos recently i've been wearing this necklace this beautiful gorgeous necklace in every single one of my videos from the company called Ana Luisa with whom i'm working on today's video but i'm not just working with them on today's video I genuinely have been wearing their pieces of jewelry for years now on every single one of my travels throughout the years just because these pieces really last and whenever you guys ask me what necklace I'm wearing or what earrings I'm wearing 85% of the time it's going to be from Ana Luisa because they are the only affordable jewelry pieces that don't tarnish for me in such insanely hot climate as it is in for example Cambodia right now 37 degrees yet I'm wearing this necklace it's gold plated and the plating is not rubbing off but it's actually a part of the two necklaces in one and i used to love to wear them as two piece but i think for traveling it's a bit too much a bit too flashy what i love about this necklace though is that it can make a perfect gift for your loved one i know mother's day has just passed but i feel like any occasion is good to treat your mom to show her that you love her or treat your grandma or treat your best friend give her some pieces that will last and you get two necklaces in one so you could even keep one for yourself and gift one to somebody else and it's kind of like you are connected you are matching because you're wearing the same necklace but different as the other one is a different style i actually travel with the little pouches so these pieces none of these pieces are like recent gifts or anything all of these pieces i've had for a good while have been wearing them have been loving them and yeah, they are, some of them I keep in pouches when I don't wear them, but some of them, like this necklace, all these diamond earrings, I wear on daily basis, I wash and shower in them. So this one is one of my favorite pieces of jewelry from Ana Luisa, and it is these gorgeous earrings. Look at these absolute beauties. I try to wear them on special occasions. However, I'm pretty sure soon enough I will swap and wear these on daily basis because they're just too gorgeous. Like whenever I wear these, I get compliments. Whenever I wear these, I can see them in pictures and videos and kind of just admire them. I like to keep them in their pouches, as I said, but I have actually washed in these several times because once I put my earrings on, I don't take them off. I also brought these ones with me for traveling in Cambodia. These are the hoops. 
So when I want to wear something a bit more dainty, when I want to wear something that's, you know, perfect for swimming, perfect for bungee jumping, perfect for an adrenaline driven activities, running, I would probably wear these ones because they're not dangly, they're just very delicate pieces. They look like this. Very, very, very beautiful. Like I'm working with them on today's video, but I didn't expect to be working with them. I literally brought these pieces with me on my travels because like I say to you in every single one of my Ana Luisa videos, I genuinely wear their pieces every single day, every single time I travel. So even when I didn't know I would be working with them, I still, of course, brought many of their pieces. Now, this is the piece that I'm not quite sure whether you can still get or not. I would have to check on their website. They were called, I think, the Sparkle um, kind of hoops. This is probably my most worn piece of Anna, from Ana Luisa that has ever existed. I've had these earrings for about three years, maybe at this point, really a long, long time. And I wear them every single day in my ears. I wear two of them actually. I wear one in my helix and one in my second lobe. And I've been wearing them, as I said to you, every single day for about two and a half to three years. I've been wearing these pieces. And I've actually tried to get them to resend me these just in case I lose them. But I couldn't find them on the website at the time. I need to have a look whether they still have them. But yeah, these are these ones. Anyway, you guys, uh, I just wanted to share with you my favorite pieces of jewelry from my favorite jewelry brand of all time. Thank you, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. You know, guys, I absolutely love you. Let's get back onto the video. Hi, I've spoken to you on Instagram, I think, okay. right? Uh, I think so. I, I think this is the right place. It has the same logo. Okay. Yes, yeah, that's okay. me. Yes. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Can I just see it for one day? No. Okay. So, do you know which uh, design you like? Because I got two hours. Yes. Well, tell me if it's even possible. Yeah. I was thinking um, this kind of design. Mm -hmm. I think this length is not too long, right? Yeah, is it not, okay? Not, uh, that's the French with chrome. Yeah, like yeah, French yeah. pink? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> These are insane, so so gorgeous. Can't believe how beautiful they are. I've never had nails this beautiful before. You guys, this was an insane experience, but in all the best ways only. I absolutely loved it. The girl was so professional. Like I said, this one, the A Plus Neo Salon. You can find them on Instagram. This is not sponsored. She does not know anything about my YouTube or anything like that, but yeah, I'm just, I just found her, you know, on, I think I initially found her on Google Maps because she had five out of star, five star rating, which is very rare. I've also looked at her Instagram and I just love the work. So, so yeah, <laughs> now I have brand new, beautiful nails. She was very, very clean, very professional. She had so much equipment, like 
I went to a nail salon at, like in the UK without extensions though but you could kind of tell what kind of stuff they were using and how hygienic they were and she was just way more professional than that salon so don't even hesitate if you would like to get your nails done she spent so much time she's an artist uh, I got chrome with uh, French and also extension, gel extension. So it took ages and I think it's still pretty affordable. I was charged 25 pounds and let me see on my card, 25 pounds and 45 pence. So not bad at all.